This video will show you how to do an f-test for variances. We're going to use the tree diameter example. Now, these calculations are pretty straightforward. I probably could have done these out by hand, but I'm going to do them here in R to give you a little bit more perspective. The first thing we are going can do is set our level of significance. I'm going to set this to alpha called 0.05. Now I can calculate the critical value of the F distribution. I'm going to make a new variable called F critical, and I'm going to use it using the QF function. The QF function stands for the quantile for the F distribution. P is going to be my probability, and I'm going to set that equal to alpha, what I already set before. My first degrees of freedom is going to be 9, and my second degrees of freedom is going to be 15. And remember, that relates to the number of observations observed in both of the open grown and the suppressed trees. I'm going to set lower tail equal to false here, only because I'm interested in doing a one-sided test for the variances. I want to know whether one variance is greater than the other variance. And then I'm going to spit out the F critical value. So when I do this, I get my F critical value as 2.587. So we'll need to know that later when we compare it to our test statistic that we calculate. Now I'm going to enter the standard deviation of the diameter for the open grown and the suppressed trees. And I'm just going to call them S1 and S2. Then I can calculate the F statistic. Remember the F statistic we abbreviate F, F sub 0. And we take the variance of the first, uh, the first sample and the variance of the second sample, and we square them both, and then we divide. So we get that ratio, and we call that f sub 0. And so here, my value of f sub 0 is 4.138. So we can say, since 4.14 is greater than 2.59, we can reject the null hypothesis. That is, there is a significant difference between the variance of open grown and suppressed trees. Now let me visualize that using the F distribution using some code. Don't bother to understand the code, but have a look at what the output shows. What I have here is the F distribution in blue, and the red line indicates the critical value. So again, remember anything to the right of the red line, or to the right of the value 2.58 would indicate we reject the null hypothesis. And again, we found the F sub 0 value, or the F statistic, of 4.13. So indeed, 4.13 is greater than 2.58, so we would reject the null hypothesis. So it's often good to also draw a figure showing the critical value and the statistic that you found to understand what the outcome of your hypothesis test is.